Hi guys, and thank you so much for watching as always. Um, just a satisfactory video. Um, just to show you what I'm up to, where I've got to, what's different now. And there's quite a lot. So last time I left you, we'd finished the oil coming down here and things were getting very busy. Things have got a lot busier since then, to be honest. Um, ignore the walkways, they're just ways to get up on top of these cliff faces. So basically, uh, you can pick up the power slugs and whatnot. So, new stuff. I can't remember everything that's new, but most stuff I'll try and point out. So... Things like um, reinforced iron plates. Now I've been doubling up on some of the um, some of the storage containers to actually get more stuff in, basically. So this one is full, and then there's a double on top, oh, eh, which I can't get up to. Which is slowly filling up. Is it slowly filling? I, I might have turned this off actually. Yes, I did. One second. I turned it off because I needed screws. And now that issue's been resolved. So, most of the work actually has been up at the back end of the factory. What I would say is, I'm not going to take you to see it because it'll take too long to get there. Um, but I have found um, uh, geothermal power now. Uh, which was uh, the geysers that you can find. If you travel along the oil road up there and go across a couple of turns, there's a path leading down that goes to a couple of oil uh, heat geysers. Um, so I've used them to generate a bit of extra power. Power at the moment is not an issue by any stretch of the imagination. I'm quite okay for power at the moment. And the reason being is because I've generated fuel, uh, sorry, power now by using the fuel. Um, I do need to overclock a couple of these just to make sure that we keep up with it. But like I said, most of the new stuff is down this way. I've been quite busy. In fact, let me just put my blade runs on. The quicker to run around. So I started doing, so I'm assuming, yeah, this was all in the last one. Um, so making rubber, fuel, and uh, plastics and in turn I was making these which are obviously the circuit boards and I've now started generating power through these petrol generators which are generating a lot more power I uh, might overclock this one I've only got one shard left though I don't really need to at the moment it's not, no, it's not an issue so I've been re-cabling, re-powering, re-organising, redoing everything basically. But in this back end area here now, we have so many more things going on. The biggest ones now are we have the quick wire, which currently is stopped uh, because I'm full. So basically the way I do these is stack these two containers on top of each other, they go into the top one and then if that one's not full, then it, sorry, if this bottom one's not full, they run round and fill up the bottom one first. So the bottom one's been filled, but the top one's still filling up. So I've got so much quick wire now, it's unbelievable. And that was made possible because of the, um, the case remote. I had to get that from all the way in the back distance over there. It was it's quite far away. Uh, in fact, you can see the um, if you look at the top there, the book, well, the beacon. It's it's a far away thing. But you can just sort of see that sort of area there that is where it is. So I've had to run it all the way over there. The other things I've done is I ran a new source of iron ore. So there was three nodes all the way back there. And they're being turned into ingots automatically, and all of the ingots are now running it into the base. I've only used one of them up to this point, which was to use for making screws, just solely to make screws. So they come down here, they go into here, which make iron rods. The iron rods go into here, and this is making the screws. And the screws are now coming around here, filling these two boxes up, and then going into this manufacturer. This manufacturer is actually making uh, computers. 
because they're a bit of a pain in the ass to make. So that's circuit boards, screws, plastics, and the last one was, uh, yeah, sorry, cable. So I'm making computers now. I've just finished doing this. So if you look here, I'm actually now making computers. There's a lot of other things I want to make. I want to make motors and things like that because that would be handy, but it's, it's, it's getting the room together and finding it excited to build all this out to put all this stuff on. It's, yeah. Oh, I've never looked inside that window. Didn't realise you could. Okay. I've only just built it about half an hour ago. So this is what's going on at the moment. I'm kind of just getting ready for the big, the next big update, which is the end of April, which should actually um, add more tiers. I'm currently not making anything milestone-wise apart from these alternate things, which you can see in the top right corner of the screen, alternate heavy modular frame. So what you can do is you can go and find the crash sites around um, the planet and get the hard drives out of the crash site and then you can actually get a, a blueprint. So this one um, is, what is it, 100? Let's do this actually. God, wearing the Blade Runners makes it very difficult to jump into rooms. I have a stash here of things that I usually need. Um, so we just do 100 of them and 30 of them. So let's do this. So under them and what the rubber. If you haven't seen it before, ship takes off. Oh, apparently it doesn't. Is that bugged out? Okay. I'm not, I'm not complaining, but this is another milestone to get rubber cable. Okay, so that one wants more rubber, which I should have in here. I thought you'd have to ask to send them. I didn't realise you just did this. Um, oh shit. That's actually cable. Uh, and rubber. I think that's everything now. Yeah, I found two, um, two hard drives. I've not really been looking for the ships. So now I should have... Alternate cable. So wire and rubber. But you can turn wire into cable. So what's the difference? So if I look at cable, that's just wire. It automatically turns into cable. So why would I add an extra ingredient to it? Does it make it faster? Okay, times two, but I don't see why it's worth it. What was the other one? Uh, alternate heavy modular frame. Okay. What was the original? Okay, I suppose it allows you to mix between different things if you really want to. Uh, coal wise I've been meaning to kind of start winding these plants down because I don't particularly need them but then again all that's going to happen is I'm going to start running out of fuel because currently I've, I've got more than enough fuel but it's only coming from two nodes so I don't want to overdo it and then basically I start getting gaps in the fuel run but yeah, so it was just a quick update to see where I'm up to. Um, this, like I said, there's new runways everywhere. I've this little tweaks there. I can't remember what I did from the last video to what I've done today. Oh, but there's just a lot going on. It's very busy around here now. But what I think I'm going to do is because I've made a bit of it, it very messy around here because you have to. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna start a new one, probably, when the next... Well, not this big update comes, but maybe the next one after that. And maybe make something a little bit more... You know, learn from my lessons and build things a little bit better. Because let's be honest, it's, it's very messy. And nothing indoors at all. So I might do something like that. I mean, I've got more coal than I know what to do with at the moment. Has that been overclocked? 
Most things have been overclocked. So I've been going around getting the uh, power shards. I've also got my truck, which is fun to drive-ish. Which runs on fuel, not coal. I do get my lag spikes. Don't forget. I kind of show you down here to where I did the coal and everything. Oh. Yeah. Invincible tree. So this is where I got the iron ore from. Which was down at the bottom. So we've got three plants here just churning out iron ingots. Uh, they seem to be full. So the bottom one seems to be using. Oh, that's the one that's actually um, being used for the screws at the moment. So I should overclock that probably. And over here is where the Caterium is. Somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's over by a waterfall back there. You have to you have to go around. It's you can sort of see where it is down there. In fact, I'll try to see it down. It goes all the way up here, it goes through this little valley gap thing. It goes up through there and yeah, it's it, it was a pain in the ass. But I've got it now, so that unlocked um, some new things. So yeah, so not much really to show you. Um, that was it. Just wanted to give a quick update. I'm um, looking forward to the next update so that I can actually start building more stuff and getting new tiers. But then I might, I'll get to a point where I'm going to just redesign the whole factory and uh, start from scratch, knowing what I know now. Because it's very disorganised and everything's all over the place. Because it's very difficult to foreshadow what's going to happen when you actually don't know what the tiers are going to unlock or how it's going to behave, what materials you're going to need and so on. Oh, come on at the wrong angle. No, get around it. It passes the tree. Okay. This is my little driving around truck. Whenever I want to go somewhere. And like I say, it runs on um, normal fuel. It's got plenty in there. Yeah, so that was just a quick update. I've managed to start building computers, which I'm really happy about. And I think the next thing is going to probably be motors that I really want to get built. And maybe even... Um, Heavy modular frames, because they're another pain in the ass to build. I'm just trying to make the things that I'm using quite a lot at the moment. And I've got a feeling the next um, patch is going to include things that will need computers. So that's why I built that first. Yeah, so there we go. That's where I'm up to. Everything else down here is still running normally. In fact, this is something I added as well. Um, now making the reinforced iron beams. Um, because I want to upgrade some of the, um, the conveyors. I don't really need to at the moment, but again, in the future episodes, maybe I'll need to start speeding things up a little bit. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please feel free to rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video, guys. So take care of each other and goodbye.